Hi, Luke here with CatsandCarp.com and me and my boy Tom here. We're fishing a brand new lake. We're at Mount Trashmore Park uh, near Virginia Beach, Virginia. And uh, we're fishing for a little catfish and carp with our friend Barry. And uh, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, a lot of people ask me, how do you choose a spot? You're fishing somewhere new. Well, this is a lake I've never been before. Number one way is to talk to people. You know, getting out and participating in the, in the fishing community, uh, whether online or in person, is a really great way to, uh, to learn new spots. It's the best way, you know. So, uh, don't try to reinvent the wheel, find out what other people are doing. But uh, in this type of situation, well, why we're choosing this spot is there's a deep drop off uh, about just about maximum casting distance. And this is an old, old uh, pit that's been flooded. So it's a man-made, there's a really dramatic drop-off. We're fishing the edge of that drop-off. Drop-offs are really classic fishing spots, especially in the winter time when the fish go from the shallows and like to go deep. That tends to be a spot that's consistently good, uh, even when the weather turns cold like it is today. Um, we're using a spread of gear, lots of rods, um, lots of different baits, just to kind of see where the fish are hanging at. Because in the winter time, the fish tend to congregate and, and you're either on them or you're not on them. And so you, you want to hit around and get as many spots as you can. So using a lot of rods is a great way to try to find the fish. So at any rate, uh, we're going to see how it goes. I see that looks like um, yeah, it could be a little bite, a little nibble. Hey, Tom, come over here. Let's fish. Yeah, it looks like a bullhead. Be careful, they bite. They don't bite. Yes, they do. Well, that's you learned. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I had to, it swallowed the hook. Yeah. Little bullhead. Yeah. Yeah, that's a white catfish, isn't it? Let See, me look. I don't... Well, he looks. It, it's hard to tell, man. Yeah, he's got he's got more of a forked fork tail than a straight up bullhead, and he's got that. Now some of them, I tell you, some of them come out. Luke, their heads are like bigger than my fist and like long. Yeah, I think that is a white one. I, I don't. Yeah, because that that would be a huge bullhead right there too. You right. know. That'd be a huge bullhead, and he's got a forked tail, and those bullheads have no forked tail right. on them. And but he doesn't really look like a champ. I mean, he got little markings, but... Yeah, yeah, and he's got a little yellow to him. But he's got the pink fins, too. That's another white catfish thing. Is it? Oh, really? Yeah, they got pink fins.
Well, anyway, uh, not not uh, not the most amazing day, but we were here about uh, two three hours and uh, got a bullhead, a white catfish, and uh, and a carp. So uh, there you go, just a really typical typical winter day trying a brand new spot, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, that's how we do it. Just get out there, try new places, try new things, and uh, mix it up a little bit. Rely on some local knowledge. Seems to pan out okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like that video, don't forget to check out our other videos, including how to make this great winter stick mix and how to catch carp in cold weather. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe.